Pagur 43 or Carabiner 43, abbreviated G43, K43, J43, CAR43, is a 7.92x57mm Mauser caliber semi-automatic rifle developed by Germany during World War II. The G43 incorporated an improved short-stroke piston gas system similar to that of the Soviet Tokarev SVT-40, and it incorporated innovative mass production techniques. Germany's quest for a semi-automatic infantry rifle resulted in two designs, the G41M and G41W from Mauser and Walter Arms respectively. The Mauser design was introduced in 1941 and at least 12,755 were made, but it proved unreliable in combat. The Walter design fared better in combat but still suffered from reliability problems. The problems with both designs stemmed from a demand made by the army that the rifles will not use holes drilled into the barrel, known as ports, to run the automatic loading mechanism. Meeting this requirement meant the designs had to use uncommon mechanisms that were simply unreliable and highly prone to fouling. The German invasion of the Soviet Union led to small numbers of the SVT-40 being captured and returned to Germany for examination. These used a simple gas mechanism powered from a port cut into the barrel about one-third of the way back from the end, and replaced the conventional stripper reloads with a modern box magazine. It was clearly superior to the G-41s, and simpler as well. In 1943, Walter combined a similar gas system with aspects of the G-41-W, providing greatly improved performance. It was accepted and entered into service as the Gewehr 43, renamed Carabiner 43 in April 1944, with production amounting to just over 400,000 between 1943 and 1945. In 1941, Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union as part of Operation Barbarossa. Just prior to the opening of hostilities the Soviet Red Army had started rearming its infantry, complementing its older bolt-action rifles with the new semi-automatic SVT-38S and SVT-40S. This was a shock to the Germans, who ramped up their own semi-automatic rifle development efforts significantly. The SVT series used a simpler gas-operated mechanism, which was soon emulated by Walter in its successor to the G41W, producing the Gewehr 43 or G43. The simpler, sturdier design and mechanism of the G43 made it lighter, easier to produce, more reliable and also much tougher than the Gewehr 41, elite German mountain troops would use them as ladder rungs during climbing. The addition of a 10-round stamped steel detachable box magazine was an improvement over the integral box magazine of the G41W. The Gewehr 43 was intended, like the G41, to be loaded using five round stripper clips without removing the magazine. Soldiers armed with the weapon typically carried one standard stripper clip pouch and a Gewehr 43 pouch with two spare magazines. The G43 utilizes the same flapper locked mechanism as its predecessor. The Gewehr 43 was put into production in October 1943 and followed in 1944 by the Carabiner 43, K43, which was identical to the G43 in every way except for the letter stamped on the side. The name change from Gewehr to Carabiner, Carbine, was due to the fact the rifle was actually 2 cm shorter than the standard Carabiner 98K and therefore the term Gewehr, meaning, long rifle, was somewhat unfitting. The Wehrmacht intended to equip each grenadier, infantry, company in the army with 19 G43s, including 10 with scopes, for issue as the company commander saw fit. This issue was never completely achieved. Gewehr 43s were made by Berlin Lübecker Maskinen Fabric in Lübeck, weapons coated Dove, and later QVE, Walter, weapons coated AC, and the Wilhelm Gustloff Werke weapons coded BCD. 
Valter used its satellite production facilities at Nu and Gom concentration camp in addition to its main production facilities at Zelomelis to make the rifles, it does not appear that complete weapons were assembled in the camps, similar to how Radom P-35 pistols were assembled in occupied Radom, Poland without their barrels, which were built and installed by Steyr in Austria, Wilhelm Gustloff Werke used some slave workers to augment its depleted staff from Buchenwald concentration camp too. The total production by the end of the war is estimated to have been 402,713 of both models, including at least 53,435 sniper rifles, these G43-K43s were used as designated marksman-slash-sniper weapons, fitted with the Zielfernrer 43, ZF4, telescopic sight with 4 times magnification. The weapon was originally designed for use with the Skia Specher rifle grenade launcher, standard on the Carabiner 98K as well, and the Shal Damp fur suppressor, however these accessories were deemed unsuccessful in tests and were dropped even before the rifle made it to serial production. The Gur 43 stayed in service with the Czechoslovak People's Army for several years after the war. Likewise the East German border troops and police Volkspolizei or Viopo were issued reworked G-43 rifles, which are recognizable by a sunburst proof mark near the serial number and the serial number engraved by electro pencil on removable components. There were many small variations introduced on the G-K43 throughout its production cycle. The important consideration is that no changes were made to the rifle design specifically to coincide with the nomenclature change from Gewer to Carabiner, with the exception of the letter stamped on the side. Careful study of actual pieces will show that many G-marked rifles had features found on K-marked rifles and vice versa. There is therefore no difference in weight or length between the G-43 and the K-43. Although G-43s have threaded muzzles with removable nuts for a blank adapter, the K-43 does not have this feature, K-43 shown as example, variations in barrel length did exist but those were the product of machining tolerances, differences between factories, and or experimental long-barreled rifles. An unknown number of late war K-43 rifles were chambered for the 7.92x33mm Coors cartridge and modified to accept STG-44 magazines. Though most G-K-43s are equipped with a telescopic sight mounting rail, the vast majority of the rifles were issued in their standard infantry form without a scope. When equipped with a scope, it was exclusively the ZF44 power telescopic sight. No other known scope slash mount combinations were installed by the German military on G slash K43S during World War II. Many strange variations have shown up after the war, but all have been proven to be the work of amateur gunsmiths. Rifles with broken off butts are common, as German soldiers were instructed to render semi-automatic rifles useless when in danger of capture.